back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We're back on Forza Horizon 5 with the. Oh, not. There we go. Sift gear. My shifter is still messing up. We're here on Forza Horizon 5 with the Mazda R9, our Fantasy Pedals, shifter, and handbrake. Right. And we're here because we're going to get the first drift impressions here on Horizon 5 with the new wheelbase. So, of course, we're going to go take a look at the new. Oh! Drift event that's here with uh, Von Gittin's Mach E. I like his barrels kind of explode. So we're going to go hit up the Drift event with the Mach E and see what we can do. Make sure you guys follow me. And also, should be all found in the description box below. Let's get to it. Drip Club story with the Mach E. So it looks like back in the slide again. So hopefully, we get to drive the Mach E. I actually have not actually looked at any of this. We got to get 50,000 for three stars. So like I said, this is the first time on the wheel. We are on the drift settings, which is the settings I feel like are some of the good general settings. There's only one Welshman I know who can handle a car like that. Ah, well, it's not a patch on you, a sideways. <laughs> Modest as always. So what are we doing? I need a third party evaluation of the modification. Turn down those just goes before you reach the destination. So just drift it down the runway. Let's okay. go. Can I show for Easy the enough. drift club? Just like back in the UK. There we go. That's everything shaken out and warmed up. Feel free to keep going, though. So overall really the wheel the does feel quite good, actually. actually. Oh, we're gonna hit this stuff. Oh, we didn't hit it. We're good. So overall, I'm actually quite impressed with how the wheel feels. It's been too long, Rob. I mean, I have 50,000 already. I mean, I'm just barricading through stuff. But overall, not too, too bad on the wheel feel. Head back to the top if you want another run. Nope, I'm good. We're just over 100,000, so we're good for three stars initially. So. So, when's the grand opening of Drift Club Mexico? Who told you about that? Mm. So we <laughs> can play the first easy, mission Rob. quite easily, Call actually. Me for the next one, you hear? Oh, here. That is an aggressive the Nismo GTR. GTR. I do love a Nissan. One of the best drift platforms in the world. In my opinion, of Agreed. course. Agreed. Evidence for other opinions is welcome. Okay. So we got GTR. What do we got to do? We've got a route. Right. Let's see what this can 150, do. 150,000? It's technical. Some very tight turns along the reservoir. Rear wheel drive is perfect for this, though. I mean, I feel rear wheel drive is perfect for this, but... I don't know if this gear ratio is really set up quite well for this. Oh, really steering lock's not really there. Coming. Oh, steering lock does not feel like it's there. Is that gear kind of bogging a little bit on me? And I don't think third gear is powerful enough. Oh. Third gear not powerful enough. This is like a second gear burner. Definitely thoroughly impressed with how Stop, the direct course. drive feels. You may want to add a drive. little bit more force feedback because it does feel a little Usually bit light, but then again, the that could just be the car. Luckily, we had one knocking around the festival, so uh, I had a look at it for you. The GTR is famous as a modular platform, and that's not just because of the wheelbase and the organic. No! The VR48 TET engine is an exceptional starting point for a drift build. I mean, the GTR is definitely a nice car, but I don't think it's the perfect car for a basic platform. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like the R35 is definitely a big, big girl when it comes to drifting. Drifting one in ESDA, it's a big car. For that last season when I did a couple rounds with it. 
Nope. Second gear. Definitely not a working gear with this car and this tune. We should be able to get to 300, no problem, Stock though. Turbos can easily make 700 bhp. There we go. You need to build for that amount of power at both ends of the intake exhaust flow, of course. In the final analysis, not a cheap drift platform, but <laughs> definitely, definitely not a cheap drift platform at That's a all. Good car. What's the next? So we got that one vehicle. done pretty easily. So we're gonna knock Recruitment. these things out. We're gonna get to the next one. So no let's see how far it actually is, or if we can just sure. um, call me. Drive to it and get on getting on without you know extending this way too long with the filler gap. So good news is my game has not crashed recently. When I used to play it with my fantastic, my game kept crashing and I'm not sure why. Either that A that was fixed with the updates or it was fixed with the, when you're over by the bridge, wheelbase. Drop by. But you know what? I'll slide right over then. Ha, you're so funny. So I'm going to get to this next spot. So I will catch you guys when we get to the next chapter of this Drift Club event. Three, two, five. We are at Challenger Very 3. Nice. Not stop, though. I like right. it. Easy Not hate these. Get in. I'll tell you as we go. Okay. I mean, put me behind the wheel of Andrew Haitley's FD car. I'll take it. Rear-wheel drive, 6.2-liter V8 engine, developing 750 bhp. Custom this is more where I'm liking. Optimal entrance and exit angles. It's quite the piece of engineering. An FD car on the back roads. Definitely loved Andrew Haitley's car. Definitely a very awesome car. I used to utilize left foot brake there, but. Hopefully, we can get three stars on this one right off the rip, too. We're gonna get to 200k first to see what the next challenge is. Definitely enjoying being back here on Horizon 5 without having any game issues, maybe bringing out a lot more Horizon content if you guys want to keep seeing Horizon content. Let me know down in the comments because said this was her first drift definitely car. fun to that be back. Sense. Abundant parts, reliable, and easy to work on too. You talking about BMW, abundance of parts and easy to work on? Um, BMW is not for the faint of heart. Running that edge, gonna get to 300. So we're probably gonna get 400. If you're in how we 450 for some restart. Okay. Speed and angle in the drift. So yeah, that I need to add a little bit more feel. For a stretch of and maybe get rid of some of the Excellent oscillating friction on the wheel. That's absolutely at the top end of my projections. So this is an interesting technical challenge. Drifting uphill. The additional inertia is a very intriguing factor in how you achieve the optimal corner approach. Optimal corner approach? I mean, we got a V8, we don't have to worry about too much. I definitely uh, like the way this R9 feels here on Horizon. At first, the game didn't want to recognize it, but I did update my firmware and it recognized it right away, so that was good. Make sure your firmware is fully updated on the base if you're good to go. So we got As that one running some informal pretty easily all of these onto the next one. So I'll catch you guys when we get to the next one. I thought we'd been focusing on the classics a little unfairly. So, how about this? Challenge the 151 Formula Drift Supra. <laughs> Osmo Supra, definitely uh, one of my favorites. So what do we got to do? This is based on a 2020 Toyota GR Supra, modified by Papadakis Racing, with um, approximately 700 extra bhp. But higher baseline speed necessitates maintaining the drift at a greater lateral velocity. So we gotta get, oh, 200. We're not doing the greatest right now in his car. Gear ratios are a little weird. Gotta get some straight line drifting going. 
There are some big points right there. There we go. We're almost at 200 though already. Still got three miles to go. Back on the road there. Yeah, definitely need to figure out the numb feeling in the center that I'm not used to feeling, but that could just be a it's setting a thing I find. and a it's calibration thing I gotta get set for the game. Forward velocity 430? The optimal angle. You are managing it nicely. This is a really tough corner. Be ready to functionally destabilize the rear. Not do with the greatest Nosmos car right now. Functionally destabilize the rear. That's something I've never heard before. I don't know if we're going to have enough road left to get this challenge completed in one try. We need 430 just for two stars. corners if you take it though there right. we go that's us into the upper projection range 600 okay they really up there with Osmo's car I say that as we're about to hit over 600 already I thought we were gonna have enough road we definitely have plenty of road the leaderboards would be. The leaderboards are probably in the millions. And I'm over here just being a potato on the grass at some points, but you know, we got this. Finish it up. So that one's complete. We got, uh, I think, two more me. to do. So let's go Tell to them. Volcanoes. Meet you guys when we get to the next one. That's the Formula Drift Mustang. Very nice. A next volcano run drift in this challenge. I told you this was a muscle drift. Ooh. And we've got 6.9 miles of the nicest drift road I think I've ever 6 .9 seen to miles. try it out on. All right. Let's get cracking. Let's go for full points. JTP's Mustang. Oh, boy. All right. Let's do it. We're dealing with a supercharged 5-litre V8, giving you a good centre of rotation, very slightly biased front, 900 bhp to push out the back. It takes some, um, my jocularity, lateral thinking to build a good drift car out of a muscle platform. But I think this is a very competent attempt. I mean, KTP's got one of the highest angle front ends in FD, so hopefully I should be able to do this. It's the first time drifting down this road on this wheel, so... Not gonna lie, definitely like how JTP's Mustang's going right now. Could be way... Way more sideways. Oh, I missed that. We gotta, we gotta actually try and link this stuff. We gotta get 350. Okay, for just one star. I think we're gonna be upwards in the 600s again. Like I thought we weren't gonna get it with Osmo's car, but we should definitely be able to get it here. Oh, next one's probably 450. Oh, sorry, 850. Okay, okay. All right. We need to. Uh... Just wait until you see. No, no. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. 
I need to lock it down if I want to get three stars on this. It's all downhill from here. I mean that in the topographical sense. Watch the corners, though. Can't drift if we hit trees. We can't drift if we hit trees. He's got a definitely very good points. I wish I could adjust the gear ratio for some of these cars for some of these challenges. But we are nowhere near where we need to be I feel for points. This one may not actually get three stars off the rip. I do a lot of back and forth on these straights to make sure we lock down the points. See, we miss a lot of points there. So we can keep the five multiplier, we should be okay. Probably gonna be a one million score, I bet. Right on the projection. Yep. I think we can do better though. Don't have 2.4 miles left to get 150k. We should be okay. Trying to utilize as much of the power. That's over 1 million drift points. How much tire smoke must be visible from the city? I mean, if anyone was watching, which they're not. Oh boy, we got this. Trying to focus and not totally biff this course. We know I'm going to be taking this road back and for and see what we can do for our highest skill chain and stuff going down this road. So I think this will be the last challenge for this episode and extend this to another episode to where we can finish off District Club. If you guys want to keep seeing this here on the channel, make sure to let me know down in the comment section down below. We're going to be finishing this off in another episode. So as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track. Oh. Oh. And as we do that, we almost do Mustang things.